This is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. Today is Wednesday, November 18th, 2020. Today, for an update, we are continuing uh, the conversation that Becky Sait and I had earlier this week uh, about the work that the Green Sanctuary Committee is doing. Yeah. What um, What would it mean for, for Lincoln um, for it to, to hit a zero carbon goal by 2040? Well, I mean, they're not saying zero carbon. Okay. They're saying net. But, you know, I mean, they're really being very, very careful. Okay. Because, because this means that other people can buy their, uh, the wrecks and they can do various things to offset some of the, the carbon. Um, but, uh, and maybe it, a good place to go would be our city plan because that city, we have a Lincoln Climate Action Plan that was released on October 29th. It is extensive. Um, it, those of us in the environmental community are really very pleased. Mickey Esposito was named to lead the Resilient Lincoln Initiative. She seems like just dynamite. Um, I'm, as a woman, I'm absolutely pleased that the person who wrote the plan is Kim Morrow and Mickey and our mayor. I mean, they're just going great guns here. Um, and what, their main goal is, is uh, 80% um, uh, carbon emissions overall. And that means transportation, electricity, everything um, by 2050. And that is in line with the Paris goals, just about right in line with Paris goals, um, which we all know is not enough, but you know, this is great. So um, it's been released and uh, it has three main goals. Uh, and 600 possible strategies under eight main topics. It's 170 pages long. I mean, it's a big plan. And I, I'm hoping that the public gets behind it because we know that there's gonna be pushback. And um, one of the things that I find kind of exciting is that environmental justice is a big piece of it. And, um, and I don't think that necessarily needed to be there. And, there's some very nice maps in the plan that overlays the floodplain with the areas of poverty. And boy, you can tell it's the pe poor people who are really gonna be impacted. Um, and so I I'm hoping that we can really support this plan and um, you know, do everything we can to say that this is really, really good. And, and another little piece that I just, you know, I just happened to look up the uh, Green Sanctuary and they've named their program a faithful response to the climate urgency. Mm -hmm. And what are their three pieces? There's mitigation, adaptation, and justice. And the city plan has those things as centerpieces. So the connection is really strong right. to me. Right. Yeah, I'm... I'm really curious to look up those floodplain maps because that that feels like a I don't know, we'll, we'll probably cut this out but it, it feels really interesting to me as as just a, a way to send the message that this is important that like here's here's who's impacted in Nebraska I mean not even this isn't this is an international Vanuatu is is disappearing, which it is, but but it's you know it's farmers along the plat. It's folks who live. It's the North Bottoms. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's what it is. No, um, it's really hmm. to see those map overlays. Uh, you know, it's just of the. You know, of course, this is a Lincoln plan, so it's just of Lincoln. Right. But I think it's uh, a really good job that they've done, right? To emphasize where the most of the problems will lie, right? And also another map that you might be interested in looking at is the cost of energy in various areas as a as a percentage of income, and that is a real thing. Uh -huh. to do. You know, I mean. Uh, so, uh, right, because right, that doesn't scale with income. 
a, a two hundred dollar heating bill is a two hundred dollar heating bill is a two hundred dollar heating bill. I mean, well, and as a matter of fact, I think with income, your two hundred dollar heating bill is probably higher than a lot of other people's because right. your your house is holy and you know the apparatus is old and you know all of that. So, uh, and I guess the other.